Oofers. Let's see here. Who was the top five? We have Ryram at number one, Touche30 at number two, Noxolo1 at number three, Yuru Narukami Ian at number four, and Antonio Zero at number five. Congratulations! And also, thank you for the resubscription for 21 months slash slash X. Logs, lols, what's up? Thank you for the resub to Shade 30 for 15 months. Hello, Mr. Logs. Where have you been? I missed you. I can talk about that. You see, thank you for the resub, Dax Chewy. I have to tell you guys the story. So, something unfortunate happened, which prevented me from streaming for the past two weeks. What the heck? Is this the Glitch Star CEO? Hello there, PsychicScape14. He's been bothering other VTubers. Um, honestly, when I bother people, it's while I'm working, so checkmate, atheists. So, the reason I was gone for so long... Wait, is this not tracking me? How is this not tracking me? It's not moving at all! The whole background is frozen, too. Well, the background's always frozen. Well, I haven't used it in a while, so it probably froze because of that. <laughs> be, 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 be. Let me check some settings. Webcam tracking. Hmm. Use microphone. Thank you for the subs, Antonio Zero. Howdy, Moon Spider. Are you finally back from getting milk and a pack of cigarettes? Yes. I have to figure out why this isn't working, though. Oh. Camera on. Calibrate. How come it's not working? Choose camera. Select. 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 Tracking type only face. Tracking quality. The Magpie webcam. Um, select. Select. Camera on, caliber. Oh my god, it's not working. I've never had this problem before. What the fuck? Hmm. That's turned off. Turn on the camera? I don't know why it's not working. Camera off. Tracking deactivated. 
Thanks for your support. Manual face. I, I don't get why this isn't working. Mm, well, whatever. Hello from the owner of the Umi server? There's an Umi server? Oh, wrong one. <laughs> I guess we'll just be PNG logs tonight. That requires me to join a Discord call, though. Um, if we come over here, newsroom, mic, Firefox capture, man, I don't care enough. You can always stream the 3D model you were born with? No. You think I want to show you how ugly I am? The puppeteer with the spider in your mouse. Yeah, I don't know why it's not working. What if I just try resetting it? Boop, 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 boop. I'll try that real quick. Okay. It's turned off. Studio mode. Come over here. Let's see here. And then if we remove this, and then turn it back on, I think I might have figured out what the problem is. Yes, there's a server for every deck. It's why card DT exists, tournaments where all the servers do battle with the representative decks. <gasps> there it is! Look, it works! So, there was an instance in OBS which was capturing my real mic. <laughs> and they talk about branded without people saying branded OP and toxic. What about branded? I love branded. I'm a branded-er. It's your punishment for what you do at the end of stem stream. Wait, what did I do at the end of stem stream? Thanks for the resubscription, blue and the gray. I don't remember. I'm sure whatever I did, it was hilarious. God damn it, why the fuck is it stuck here? Stop it. Okay, there we go. The D's nuts joke? Oh, that was so funny though. Mr. Logs never knew how much he missed it, his animated model. I can't not have my freaking, like, dude now. Like, imagine not being able to be a giant spider. Oh, did you guys see Pippa bought my merch? She bought my, um, my plush. Because she recognized me from her chat. What's funny is she bought my plush not because she knows anything about me or my brand, but because I talk in hers and Sheena's chat sometime. So she bought it because she wanted merch of one of her chat members, which I think is really funny. <laughs> and then you left the stream? Well, I was going to lose, leave the stream anyway. Mr. Logs never knew how much he missed. <gasps> Reverend Shrin, I recognize that name because I was working on a bunch of clips yesterday. Um, so, whom? Um, Peepa Peepkin. Peep, peep, Peepa Peepa Pipkin. Now chatters are selling merch. This is going too far. I know, right? I hope nothing bad. You clip a lot, which is very convenient for me. Are things on your spider abdomen to eyes? What spider abdomen? Oh, you mean my back? Yeah, those are eyes. You think Rosamy got your merch? I doubt it. I still need to sell all my merch. I'm waiting for the mystery box to come in and then I can sell it. Alexa, fix my depression. Hey Google, fix my depression. Here's a summary from the website NHS.UK. Try these coping strategies if you're feeling depressed. 
One, stay in touch. Two, be more active. Three, face your fears. Four, don't drink too much alcohol. Five, try to eat a healthy diet. And six, have a routine. Thank you, Google, that fixed me. Could you guys even hear that? I like clipping Kingdom Hearts is my current mortal enemy because Twitch won't let me clip me always play through. They won't? Why? I know there was some clips from that. All fix, yes, we heard? Okay. I'm looking through my quarter century rares. I bought some quarter century rare emergency teleports and some skill drains because I want to give them out with my mystery boxes. And I was like, what are some cards that are good in every deck? And then I found them and I'm like, wow, these are too expensive. What are some not expensive cards that can be useful in some decks? <laughs> oh yeah, I got quarter rare Appalooza Bow of the Goddess as well. Oh my god, is that the CEO logs? Do people respect you now? No, they won't let me have any fun. They keep yelling at me for how I act. And I got quarter century rare skill drain. And then I just got some normal ass triple tactics talents. Can you put skill drain in my box? Sure, if you tell me your real name. Hey, it's the Jupiter Spider. It's a me, a Mario. You're not allowed to have fun in other people's chats? Yeah, they keep yelling at me just because I go to other people's chats and have a good time. Am I not allowed to have a good time anymore? Is fun illegal? See, this is why we need Elon Musk to save us. Can I get a box for free? Um, maybe. I'll give boxes for free to special chat members. It's only illegal for you. You're not allowed to have fun anymore. I can't wait to start marketing the box because I've spent so much money on it so far. I think I've spent like $20,000 on merch. Give or take. And if I can make that money back, that would be great. Ooh, another quarter century skill drain. One of the people I bought cards for sent me a Korean version of Lightning Storm for no reason. Are those fireworks going off in the background? Yeah, that's why I'm streaming right now. Right, I never got to explain why I wasn't able to stream. Ooh, triple tactics talent. I'm going to take all these out of their cases. I know I bought four copies of Bonfire. Why do I only have three copies of Bonfire? I guess the other ones haven't arrived yet. <laughs> eh. Wait, where's my ten copies of Pot of Prosperity at? Why did you buy four to give away? They're going to go in the uh, the mystery boxes. So I have one copy of Bonfire right here. Banned from Minnie's chat, Nova's chat, probably Leah's chat, Meow's chat. No, -uh, they're not allowed to ban me. They can only put me in timeout, which removes my editor privilege, so I can't download their clips. Which is why they gave me editor privileges on the main channel. <gasps> Hello, it's your boy Azelio. Two years? Wow, it's been two years. That's crazy. Who would have thought I'd be streaming for two years? Especially since I stopped taking it seriously after six months. Man, those first six talks, those first six months were great. Do you guys remember how motivated I was during those first six months? Was anyone here from around when I first started streaming? And there was clips every day and like all these collabs planned every week. When did you start? Um, at the end of 2021 in December. But basically 2022. You spent eight hours making game shows? Yeah. May I have the bonfire? Uh, if you buy the mystery box, sure. What happened to the game shows? They take too long to make and I don't have time. I want to do them again though. Uh, then you showed me Leah and I left. Oh, I got you into Leah? Good. Leah's great. She's super talented. I was looking through her clips. 
There was a clip from when I wasn't there in chat to defend myself. Where she was talking about a guy who got mad at her for ghosting because she ghosted them for 24 hours and it was so unreasonable. And I was like, she's talking about me. And I know what she's talking about too. We scheduled a meeting to talk about her content after her stream was over. And then she ghosted me for 24 hours because she didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> of course I got mad. It wasn't that I was mad that she didn't talk for 24 hours. I was mad she ghosted the meeting and then, re you know, also didn't talk for 24 hours while obviously ghosting me. That girl, SMH. Technically, she's not wrong, but she's missing some cr crucial details to that story. She went to bed? She went to bed because she didn't want to talk to me. Like, no, literally, when we did talk, she got... She was, uh, she, she just did not want to talk about it. Whew. If anything, one of my main motivators for making the, um, the company is so that I can just take care of that shit for her. <laughs> Instead of having to yell at her to, you know, do all these extra things. I can just do it for her now. It's so much more convenient. So, it all worked out in the end. God willing, she needs it? Yeah, she does. Oh my goodness gracious, you would not believe um, how amazing they all are to work with and how not difficult any of them are. There's all angels. My The manager who deals with them tells me all the time, boy, it's like I don't even have to do anything because they're so... <laughs> I can't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> so anyways, the reason I couldn't stream was because um the Glitch Stars debut got delayed. And so basically what happened was Surely won't clip it. Did you manage to pull a dragon Magia Master? It's going for six hundred dollars now. It's apparently cheaper to gun. What's a dragon Magia Master? I don't know what that is. Stream every day. Thank you for the prime sub, Psychic Scape. Um, I can't. Did your anxiety get better? No, but it is getting better. The new blue eyes fusion. Oh, is that what it's called? I want that new blue eyes fusion. It's really good. So basically, what happened was. I had everything prepared for the July, no, the June 8th launch of Glitch Stars. All of my planning was for June 8th, and that includes the planning on my channel sides, because I also run five YouTube channels of my own, and that is already a full-time job. So having to set up for the Glitch Stars launch required so much extra work that I had planned everything to basically stop after June 8th. So like that was when I was able to take a break because I was already burned out because it was so much work. And so I had all my recordings done. I had all of like, you know, my, uh, my, my scripts done. I had everything planned so that I could take a small like day break after the launch was done. And then we would start uploading clips. Then, you know, we'd get thumbnails made for everything. We'd start hiring new people. We'd, we'd go into other stuff. And also, my channels would still be running. We'd have shorts going. We'd have, you know, other videos uploaded. Thumbnails made for them. There's a lot of work behind the scenes that individually, each task does not take very long. But with the amount that I work on, it takes an incredible amount of time to do everything. Um, so everything was planned for a June 8th launch. And then we had to delay it. And what that means is that with the delayed launch by a week, um, that means not only do I have to do extra work for the launch by contacting all the people we had behind the scenes and telling them, hey, 
we're going to be doing this on a new day. Can you make it? <laughs> and we had like one person drop out because they could not make the new day because they were going on vacation. But everybody else was able to make it, thankfully. And the thing is, asking those people was also kind of a hard thing because I was already getting such a good discount on a lot of their normal rates. Um, so I was like, oof, I'm already asking a lot of these people. And so, like, you know, there's, there's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff we had to do. We also had to, like, do the 3D stuff, and we weren't able to do, like, one thing because it didn't pan out. But we paid a whole bunch of money for it, like thousands of dollars for it, but it didn't pan out. <laughs> so that was scrapped for launch, and we did something else. Um, and on top of all of that, I still had my other channels to work on, which is five other channels with, like, you know, a million recordings to do and a whole bunch of editors to micromanage and script writers to approve scripts of. And I had everything prepared for the June 8th launch, which had passed, which means I no longer had anything prepared and I had to do extra work for the Glitch Star stuff. So I worked extra. And then after it was all done, we finally got our launch done. I was like, okay, well, I was already burned out before the original launch. So having to do two times as much work after I was burned out um, means I'm super duper burned out. And I still am behind on work because even though I was working twice as much, I was not able to keep up with how much I had to do. <laughs> so immediately after the launch was done, I had to go back to work. And these past two weeks was just me trying to catch up again. And I'm still not caught up, but I'm like 95% caught up. And I thought it is not a good, um, I should not stream while I have editors waiting for me to give them lines like recordings um because like my voice could be spent recording audio and not streaming so like that's why i haven't been able to stream for the past two weeks and the only reason i'm streaming now is because it's fourth of july and there's a whole bunch of fireworks going outside which means i can't record anyway that's all it is Um, thank you for the subs. I was ignoring them while I was telling my story. Thank you for the subs. The, the Moong Bimp. Hello, Mr. Logs. Much love from Australia. You live in Australia? That's cool. The Radiant Hexblade for 20 months. Thank you for creating glitch stars, Mr. Logs. You're the coolest, most mysterious benefactor ever. You're welcome. Oh my god. I saw, um... So, apparently we have quote unquote a, a leaker from inside our corporation who went on 4chan and was like yeah I work for the glitch stars you guys want to know any insider info and like one of their things was um um crap I forgot <laughs> oh like why did the duologues do the game show on his channel and not the main channel is it like a glory hog thing? And no, actually, the reason we did the game show on my channel was because the talents asked me if we could because I had the highest uh, follower count. And I was like, um, doesn't really make sense, but sure, whatever. So like, it wasn't really nefarious, but like, I totally get it. And that's also why I knew they weren't they didn't have that much info. The funny thing is, the, 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 the leaker actually had some insider knowledge, but not that much. So I have to assume the leaker is just someone from my um, my main Discord server, the one I have for like all the five channels, because that's separate from the Glitch Stars server. 
Oh, uh, and I have to assume it's from there because the Clippers, some of them were part of both and they probably just talked a little bit. So that's how they got the insider information because if they actually had insider information, uh, they would have known that we just decided to use my channel for the game show just because they asked me to. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was like convinced for a bit. I was like, whoa, some of this information is like accurate, but um, the other half is not like at all. What was the other one? Um, they said I did it on my channel because I'm a glory hog. I mean, I am a glory hog, but I didn't do it on my channel because of that. Uh, they said the reason I started a VTuber Corp was because I think I can do it better than everyone else, which is true. Um, but I also think, like, the homeless man on the corner could do a better job than everyone else. Like, the... I do think I can do a better job than, like, a lot of the other corps. Not because I have, like, a huge ego, because I do. Um, but because they're so incompetently ran that I think anyone in chat could do a better job than them, too. Like, it's not really a high bar. <laughs> that one was pretty funny. <laughs> Thank you for the subs, Sham Scam and Naren in P. Here's my rent money, Mr. Locks. Thank you. Um, Naren, when are you gonna make the video about Skibbity Fortnite? Skibbity Fortnite, Skibbity, Skibbity Fortnite, Skibbity, Skibbity, Skibbity Fortnite, even me? Yes, even you, Alex. Let me tell you a story about you see i have contacts in a lot of corps so telling this story won't give away which corp i'm talking about you are my favorite corp cbo why thank you there's this one story i heard from an unnamed corp where one day they really wanted to um sir tauto i think i'm done now what where they really wanted to do, like, a holiday-themed event with their other corporation members. So they ask in, like, a group chat on their Discord server, you know, to plan the event. It's like, hey, we want to do this event for this holiday that's going to come up in, like, three months. We need to start preparing now. Otherwise, we won't be able to, like, you know, get all the art done in time. And so they start planning it, and then their managers come in and be like, hey, you can't do that because we're already working on art for it. And they're like, okay, um, can you tell us who it is and what you guys' plans are? And the managers ghost them for a week. And then after getting no replies, they're like, okay, we're just going to start doing it anyway. And then instead of replying to them, they just start posting sketches. It's just like, here's sketches of it. And they're like, oh, cool. Um, can we get some changes? They get ghosted for a week. And they're like, okay, we're just going to ignore you guys. And they, they literally say this in their chat. They're like, we're going to ignore management and just do something on our own. And they're like, no, you can't. We're already working on something. And they're like, can you tell us what you're working on? Nothing. No responses. Completely ghosted. And they're like, okay, we're just going to do something ourselves then because you're not responding. And they're like, no, the art's almost done. We, we, we got things worked out. You guys don't have to do anything. And then the holiday comes around, nothing. They they message them, nothing. Managers ignore them. And then after the holiday is done, the, the art never gets finished. Um, and then like they, they missed it because the management, not only did the management not do their job, but they actively hindered the talents from just doing it themselves. And it's just like, literally, if they did nothing, a better result would have happened. <laughs> so I'm like, yes, I think I can do a better job. Of course I do. Anyone could. Anyone with half a brain could do a better job than those morons. Oh my god, I have so many stories. I have so many stories from so many different orders. And I can't tell you, like, any of them, otherwise they'll give them away. All I can say is, I have similar stories like that from even really large corporations of unnamed names. And it's just like, wow, how did you guys become a large corporation being that incompetent? 
So here's my Tenny Umi Control Horus deck. I have not lost a single game with this because I've only played like three games with it. So I think it's pretty good. <laughs> What's the main gimmick of this deck? Um, so Umi Control has like secondary effects to bring out water normal monsters. So I thought, what if I played the water ten yeet card and ditch it to the graveyard with like the Horus engine? That's about as far as it got. And then I started building the deck. And it's basically a worse Umi control that sometimes high rolls into a better Umi control. What's your opinion on the Sox VT company? I know of it, but I don't know if they do anything different from a normal VTuber court. Uh oh, Dark Worlds and I have no hand traps. This could fuck me over really bad. Uh oh. What does Umi Control do? Umi Control. Um, summons a floodgate and a negate. Where the main boss monsters basically goes and match. Uh, a goes and match that searches cards every turn. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It can stall and gain advantage every turn. So unless you win really quickly, you're not going to win the grind game. Unless you're playing Brunic, I think they might be able to out all this stuff. Select a card in your opponent's hand. They're running dragged down into the grave. Which card did they hit? Ocean Lord, Kairi Shin. They're gonna hit Called by the Grave next, I bet. I'm surprised they didn't go for it first. What? I got rid of that card? Why? Ooh, another called by the grave. Ooh, part of extravagance. Oh, I have triple tactics talent too. I don't know where my five copies of prosperity are at though. I refuse to watch even a single 30 second ad and these bozos expect me to swallow three. Yeah, that's Twitch for you. Okay. Shathana. Logs, it's been an hour. No, it hasn't. <laughs> he doesn't have any gate. Oh, yeah, they don't have any cards in hand. <laughs> what a silly goose. Yeah, what an absolute buffoon. Send Umi to the grave. A special summon Go Go Gigo Gaga Gigo from the hand. Can I go into any magic to out this board? If I go into this to bring back a card, I'm locked into water monsters and I have nothing else to go into. Um, hmm, but I can go into Shathana if I can leave Jellyfish on board, but I can't because it requires two water monsters specifically. And if I go into Mistar Boy, I can't get Goga Gigo out. I think the best bet is to just crash this card to pop the boss monster. And he comes back. Destroy a card? Yeah. Okay, and now I can't do anything else. 
that is banished or in your graveyard. Whoa, select one card from your hand to discard. Okay. All right, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000. Can't do anything else. The hidden effect, if I bring this one out, I can bring back Jellyfish, but that doesn't do anything. I didn't think Goga Gigo would be so weak. I really need Umi in order for him to be a big beat stick. <laughs> 50 off? Yeah, I'm 50 off. There's no 3,000 attack water monster. Normal water monster. You can special summon this card. <gasps> you can add a card from your deck to your hand. What I love about Called by the Grave is that it um, is not a hard once per turn, so I can use both copies. Change your mate? I'll change it to Bonfire once I get that. Ooh, how to put it together. That's pretty useful. Is the higher attack of Goga Giga really important? I prefer the ability normal summon Giga Giga under a legendary ocean. Um, for this specific deck, it is. What are they doing now? Target with three cards in the graveyard, banish them, then discard one fiend monster. Oh. Shit, I was kind of relying on Shathana to do stuff. Oh, I just realized I could have crashed Goga Giga in order to take less damage. Fuck. I wasn't thinking three steps ahead. I was thinking no steps ahead. Like a little... not think aheader. Bonfire is such a BA BS mate for the dual pass. Nah, no, it's super cool and mysterious like me. Ooh, I'm fucked. Wait, why didn't they activate the effect to blow up the field? Logs, why aren't you at AX? What's AX? Whoa, look how strong he is. Anime Expo? Should I be at Anime Expo? Does anyone care about Anime Expo? We're going to TwitchCon to do a meet and greet. Do you guys want to meet me at a TwitchCon meet and greet? Just kidding. It's not for me. It's for the talent. Ha ha. Ha ha. Not really. Well, do you want to meet Leah, Miwa, or Meowie? Ooh, a horse card. Not really? Well, you will eventually. Whoa. You don't like TwitchCon? Not even to meet Leah at the meet and greet? Do you have any idea how sad she'll be if her fans don't show up? Oh, so you are going to TwitchCon? Yeah. Can you fly to Australia, though? Never say no about these kinds of things. Currently, we do not have any plans to go to Australia. However, I will not make any statements for the future. I'm scared to meet Mia because she might kick me in the shins. Um, Meowie and Miwa do not wish to meet and greet in person. They will have the VTuber screen. So you will meet them and talk to their model in real time. Um, Leah wants to meet in person though, so she'll be there. Do 
Meow Miwa. The Kairushin. Are they still comboing off on me? Oh, I should play Summon Limit in this deck. Do 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 do. Wait, how do they draw so many cards? They only had one card in hand. Uh, you can just target two cards your opponent controls and destroy them. The VTuber's screen is cringe. Well, I mean, a lot of things about VTubers is cringe, so that's not really super relevant unless it's cringe for VTubers. And it's pretty standard practice for VTubers, so there's nothing wrong with it. Oof. Hmm. I gotta say, the ratios for this are pretty bad. For one, I'm playing 15 cards more than I should. So about the undefeated status, shut up, I'm trying my best, and that's all that matters. If we get rid of our ability to go second, if we get rid of some of the Horus cards and the Floodgate, and some of the searchers. There we go. I also need to get rid of Pot of Desires. Which means I can add back in. Um. One of my searchers. Okay. Let's see how this version works. Why three big normal monsters? Because that's the whole point of the deck. About the undefeated status, well, it was only undefeated because I only had three duels with it. And because I went second, and it's a going first deck, and I got rid of all of my going second cards, so I can no longer go second. Also, I can draw an even last duel, so it didn't matter. Hmm. Damn it. The pot cards negatively impact my Horus cards. Eh, whatever. Six cards. Whoa. Legendary Ocean. Jellyfish. Now we have some negates. Activate Fish Sonar in order to add Dragon Lore to hand. And special summon Goga Giggle Goggle Giggle from the deck. <laughs> then pitch Legendary Ocean to the grave to special summon Ocean Lord Dragon Lord. Then activate the Ocean Dragon Lord in order to search out Sea Stealth Attack. And then activate Amnesty. Send Shathana to the grave, search out Gold Sarcophagus, activate Gold Sark, Pidge, Goga Giggle, Gaga Giggle to the grave. Fuck, I wasn't done with my combo! Ugh. Photon Lord? I might have banished Photon Lord from my deck with that pot of extravagance. Oh, uh, I didn't check. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, Rex X. Uh, since I have to leave, word of advice with the horse cards with Umi, use TZV. TZV. Oh my god. Who's TZV? Um, if you don't draw Kairu, you might be able to get off TZV or dump Ice Bear with TZV. Like if you were Pot of Prosperity, also helps if you have 10B gameplay, have 10 in the grave, also due to lock. 
We prefer target negate Heliop and number 38 of number 90. Hmm. Wait, is Heliop water? I don't think he is. I know which card you're talking about, but why? Of Heliop, Heliopius. Also keeping the non-water monsters, let us ignore Kaijus that aren't Gamma Seal. What's TZV? Is that one of the Horus cards? Hoppy. Quebec. Imperial Tomb. The Zombie Vampire. You might be able to get or dump Ice Bears with the Zombie Vampire. I like it where a Pot of Prosperity. Oh! Fuck, you're right! Zombie Vampire. I didn't even think of that. Uh, let's get rid of the other garbage cards. I was thinking about Heliop, Heliop, Heliopolis, specifically because, like, sea stealth attack prevents them from being targeted. No, 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 no. It's because sea stealth attack prevents my back row from getting destroyed, but it can still get targeted, which this stops. That was my idea behind it, but I was like, is it really that important? Maybe. Summon limit? Eh. A Horus? Go, go, giggle, go, go, giggle. Logs teach me galaxy eyes combos. Galaxy eyes combos? I only know, like, the jank version of it. I don't know how to play real galaxy eyes. Don't play extract with Gimsy? Yeah, I gotta remove it. No digit jamming? What's a digit jamming? Oh shit! Should've used Vishuda first. No wait, it doesn't matter. Are you excited for Typhon? Is your supposed to be coming soon? <gasps> Enough snacks for stream? You guys want cough drops? <laughs> you want a cough drop? <laughs> you want a cough drop? It also stops Imperm. Oh yeah, I guess Imperm kind of fucks over, um... Kairu Shin. Damn. Metronin Jane. Um... Your advice is legit. I'm glad to see another Umi control player in chat. Let me make you a VIP. Umi control is my jam. It's one of the few decks I have IRL because I love it so much. I used to play it all the time on stream until my chat was like, please, stop playing Umi Control. Play something else. I'm like, no. Umi Control is so fun. The boss monster is literally a floodgate. I'm the owner of Umi I'm the writer for the Umi God and MB MDM for no reason. MDM. What's that? Master Duel Meadow? <gasps> oh, that's awesome. I definitely look at Umi Control decks on Master Duel Meta from time to time. <laughs> Damn, Meteor Jam. He came in, I remember they came in earlier this stream. At the very beginning, I was like, ooh, Umi Control, I gotta watch this. And then I talked about non Umi stuff for 45 minutes. So, <laughs> thanks for sticking around. <laughs> the deck they're playing. Um, I opened really bad, so if I had opened uh, Kairushin, you see, the thing is, I'm playing a sub-optimal Umi control build, so sometimes my hand sucks ass. Whoever designed Typhon should burn in heck. My Zeus stack was vulnerable enough before it came out. I love Typhon, though. He's so silly. If YouTubers doing just chatting for an hour is a staple. But I normally don't. I normally just get straight into it. But I had to explain for my parasocial fans why I wasn't streaming for two weeks. And I had to talk about our silly um, 4chan leaker. One of the things they also said on 4chan was like, I know that no one in the staff 
you know, uses 4chan, so they'll never find this. Which is true, but someone told on them. <laughs> they were also like, man, they really hate you there. And I was like, I can see that. Vlogs look at 4chan? Um, no, I don't have time to really do anything. I'm, like, hella busy. And plus, like, 4chan's really toxic, and I'm kind of a baby when it comes to that. Horus cards are great for Umi. Also gets even more amazing when Dragluxion and 7th Tachyon turns them to a 1. Insert amount of cards to discards, Umi lock, and Trimon Tachyon can be part of the combo if you want. Wait, what? What's Dragluxion in 7th Tachyon? Oh! Primal Tachyon, which can be part of the combo if you want. Wait, why would you bother with Dragluxion into Tachyon when you can just go into Tachyon itself? Also, with the Umi control thing, you only get one non-water. Is it really worth it to waste it on Tachyon Dragon? Wait, am I thinking of someone else? Because you can summon Primal to your opponent's side of the field? Wait, what? Oh, that would lock them. Help me settle up with Dibit with Nair. Dragluxion, not Lubion. I think I might be thinking a different card. Let me look this up. Dragluxion? Oh, I don't know what this card is. I'm pretty sure this card is not in the game. If this card special summon from the extra deck, you can add one Galaxy or Tachyon card from your deck to your hand. Detach two materials from this card. Special summon a rank 8 Dragon XC sponsor that was hacked from extra deck. By using this card, you control the material. Then you can attach one Galaxy Monster extra deck to it as a material. You can use each effect once per turn. Holy shit, that card's good. Whoa! Okay. Yeah, I haven't heard of the card, but like that's really good. So basically, you get a free negate and a search. Damn. <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> it's funny that Horus is a better engine for the Galaxy Eyes Xyz monsters. Oh, I'm so fucked. I think they summoned the wrong rank 7. Did they? I don't think so. They floated into Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. He can't attack directly. Warload Savage Dragon. Oh, wait, what was this? Help me settle big with Nair. Is Meowies or Miwas bigger in their new 3D models? Their boobs? I don't know. They're about the same size. I don't know for sure which one's bigger. I could find out, but I think they would not like it if I did. Also, I do not care that much about it. I'm so fucked. Nat searches his 7th Tachyon, which is due to 101. C101 can search level 4 or 5 water monsters. Currently, they're only OCG only. The level 4 slash 5 water monsters. So, the new shark cards? I haven't read those either. That'd be pretty weird to ask. Damn, now you're making me want to ask. SP effect can attack directly if they banish the ED monsters effect. What? WTF? Rufamal? Undefeated? Shut up, I'm having fun with Umi. Do you like muffins? I do like muffins. But they don't like me. Anyways, gotta go. See you later, Metronome J. Thank you for being the most valued member of chat. I love you. And no one else. Unless... Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Unless... Um... Crap. Yeah, Loser Luis. I was like, what's the name of my favorite chat member? Thank you, Mirai Panda, for reminding me. Um, I should probably bait Ash with fish sonar. 
Hey, hi. You mean Latios? What? What about Latios? That fiend, that devil. Why I am right here? Your name isn't Loser Luis. So what if I didn't lost cards in MD? Oh my god, that'd be awesome. Probably for age ratings. Haha, <laughs> you fool! You fall in for the oldest trick in the book. <laughs> One of these days I'll be Logs' favorite chatter. Um, okay. Say that to loser Luis, why don't you? Are you okay, Mr. Logs? I'm an extrovert. Um, response, Alexandros? I'm still waiting for my fourth bonfire. I only have three bonfires. I want four of them. I can't post a picture to Twitter unless I have all four of them. Also, I don't know where my ten prosperities are at. I think I lost them. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are they impermanent? <laughs> you stupid idiot. You absolute buffoon. Dude is probably new to the game. Probably stupid to the game. <laughs> is this guy never faced Horus before? Looks like it. Special summon a monster to the board. <gasps> Holy cannoli. Whoa. Holy crap. Zombie Vampire was an excellent add to the deck. Damn, thank God for the guy in chat who's from the Umi Discord. Whoa! Jellyfish can't swim at night? Shut up! Yes, they can. You're welcome, Mr. Long. It wasn't you! It was the guy I gave VIP to. He's better than all of you combined. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. You guys are all valued members of this community. And as a CEO, I must reflect upon my actions and be better. <laughs> Ooh, this card's way better than freaking Legendary Ocean. <laughs> now my monsters can't be targeted by monster effects. <laughs> Mr. Logs, who is your manager? I don't have a manager. I am ungovernable. They're what um, we call in the business. I am based and red-pilled. However, I do have um, people within my team who yell at me for doing things, but they're not my managers. They are the managers of the other talents. So basically, on staff, we have me, the managers of Gen 1 Virus, the managers of Gen 2, which helps with a lot of the back end stuff because she's like very multi purpose. And then technically, we have an executive assistant who I just have do stuff every once in a while. And also, we have an executive uh, mod, Kairushin. See stealth attacks, select a card to special summon. We want Maiden of the Aqua, some another monster. And we also want Doom Kraken. Damn it, if I had more room, I could have brought out my other cards. Can I join your board of directors? No, you're not based or red pilled enough. Ooh. 
You should have put him into the EMZ. Yeah, I'll remember that for next time. This is the first time I've used the zombie vampire. I thought I was going to tribute him off for Ocean Lord. Um, I didn't think I would snag a jellyfish from it. Can I be a fan? No. So, TDL is part idle project to conquer the world with mowing cardboard. Um, it's more like... So... One of the big things is, like, I have these incredibly talented friends. Like, you know, Miwa, Meowie, and Leah. And I wanted to give them the proper support needed in order to succeed. And also have a place for my very talented corpo friends who live work in other companies to fall back on in case things went south for them. Select a card to add to your hand. Might as well add Legendary Ocean. <gasps> Ooh, that frees up space for Zombie Vampire! <laughs> Did 4chan tell you to save Rosamie or Vivi? Um, tell them to hit me up. Special summon a monster to the board. If the Shoujo won't take them, I will. Okay. <laughs> I have go 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 go. Oh, I can bounce a card. I don't know what card they have face down, but it's not going to prevent them from losing. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Logs. I have work. See ya. Small side note before I leave, because Emnesty's draw is optional. Pot of Extrav and Pot of Prosperity doesn't stop Emnesty. Um, I know that. I've been... I playtested this deck off stream and I ran into that problem. Um, I would still rather be able to draw off of it, you know? <laughs> I still want to draw off of the guard. <laughs> If you could only save one of them, who would you pick? Oh, I could never pick a favorite between my favorites. Bye again. See you later. I'm just saying, you know. Um, there is a non-zero chance something like that can happen. So it is in my best interest to keep quiet about this. To avoid legal problems. Wink. Wait, Face Connect is also an option, too? Um, that's true. Most likely they'll join V Shoujo TBH. TBH, um, however, we are an easier to get into V Shoujo, so, <laughs> checkmate atheist. <laughs> Also, what I really like about my, um, the, the talents is after only, like, a week of having clips, they're already clip brain. They're thinking about what they can do in order to get clips. They're talking about what will get clipped on stream, and I'm just like, yeah. Yeah, they finally get it. <laughs> they understand. <laughs> Soon, they'll be changing their streams in order to get better clips because it will promote them better. Like I've been telling them all these years. In other words, I don't want anyone to clip me saying who is my favorite and use it against me in the future. I can't believe you guys sent that clip to Leah, you 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 wonderful people, and I love all of you. TCG exclusive archetype be Medigan or Rush Duels coming to the USA and colonies? I don't know why they're not bringing Rush Duels to the US. Soul Piercer loop time. I haven't seen Super Heavy Samurai since eight since uh since oh uh, fuck Snake Eyes came out. I thought they banned this card. Oh no, he's banned in the TCG. They never banned him here. Shit. His deck bricks a lot. Well, so does mine. This hand isn't a brick though. This hand is all gas. But I don't think it can play through uh, a million negates. Me was clips are on say so. So I was going back and getting clips for the out of context channel. 
and Miwa hasn't streamed really in the past two weeks. So I went to her all-time clips and got them from there, and she has a lot of very funny all-time clips. So watch out for Miwa's clips on the Out of Context channel in the coming weeks because they are hellacious. What about the old clip of Meowie saying she loves the CEO? Um, that one I probably won't post. I don't post any of the clips which mention me specifically. Unless they're talking about something else and I just happen to be involved. Which clip? Go to the Out of Context channel and check Miwa's clip from today. Here, I'll even give you guys a link to it. <laughs> this clip right here. Done banless predictions. Um, I'm not really a big fan of fan fiction. Mr. Logs, why does Miwa go on vacation shortly after debuting? Uh, because we were supposed to debut a week earlier. MB only has a limit on Soul Piercer. When are they going to ban Barone? I would like a ban on Barone, please. Does anyone want a free copy of Bonfire? I have three of them that I'm not going to use. Also, I can feel my throat starting to hurt a little bit. I think I should end the stream after this duel. Can I get your plushie instead? The plushie will be included in every single box. I have 250 of them downstairs. Ugh. And I don't think we'll run out. You'll take a bonfire, then you have to buy one of the boxes and hope you get it. <laughs> no, I need skill drain. I have um, some quarter century skill drains. Guys, I have an idea for merch. What if a hypothetical VTuber company had a new deck box that was dropping and also sold alongside it was the core of their favorite deck? Do you think that's something that would sell? <laughs> I should put all these in a deck box. Dude, the quarter century rare, no, what are they called? The super fancy skill drain. The core of Dogmatica. Another core of Sky Striker. Oh no, it would be the core of the hypothetical streamer's favorite deck. Not a full deck, just the core. Eel Umi Control. I love Umi Control. I have Umi Control IRL. That means in real life. Oh, that's why. Burn. 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 Oh shit. There's still not. Someone tell this cringe lord to hurry up with their combos. Wow, they only have three negates. Cringe. This isn't fun. Well, this is what happens when you don't play any hand traps. Oh, 
All right, they also have hand traps too, which I have to worry about. <gasps> Ice barrier. Three negates in spear mode. Activate legendary ocean. Maxi. <gasps> They're gonna let legendary ocean resolve? Are they stupid? Now I activate fish sonar. Yep, there's the hand traps. Activate King Sarcophagi. Yeah, it still has three negates. Negate number one. Negate number two. Well, they can't negate this one because it'll stay on the field. And number three and number four. Despite that, Barone's negate is shockingly once per turn. Despite also being once while on the field. <gasps> like the windups. I'm pretty sure that doesn't stop it. It still gets activated. Oh. Guess I was wrong about that. Main phase. Target one card on the field and destroy it. Haha, <laughs> it was Ice Barrier. Oh, I don't have any monsters in the grave. They still have one more negate. <gasps> That's all my plays. negate is technically the closest we can get from a modern once per duel. What? No, it's not. It's like a wind-up effect. That's how all the wind-up monsters are. Anyways, I gotta go to protect my throat. Thank you for keeping me company on April... No, July 4th. Um, who should we raid? Guys, I need suggestions. Mini, Hina, Kimi Kuroko. Who's Kimi Kuroko? Mini, Hina, Raid Noctis. Wait, is Noctis online? Wait, search. Who's Kimi Kuroko? I don't know who they are. I can't sh sh raid someone unless I have vetted them. Hiba Bobina? Yeah, is Mikon's friend. I have to personally vet them myself, though. Um, Hina is a target. If Noctis is on, that would be funny to raid Noctis. <gasps> Noctis is on! Oh, apparently I'm following Kimi Kuroko. Huh. Oh, and Nim Nim is on, but he's not playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Unless you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh, um, no thank you. Let's go over to Noctis Hole! Everybody, say hello to Noctis for me. Noctis is a very good artist, so if I send him a raid, Maybe he will give me a discount on commissions in the future. So, no alternative motive.